ABC has just released a new behind the scenes promo from Katie's season and we have all the details. Hey guys, welcome back to another shared news from home. We have all the latest on Katie's season, but before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, I'm your host Fiona Zaring, joined by the wonderful Morgan Wright and Zachary Reality. You guys, I am so excited to dive into these new promos but first things first I gotta know are we excited for Katie's season are we excited to have her as the bachelorette Morgan what are your thoughts I am excited that we're having Katie I know it's a little bit of a mixed reaction online um, I just don't really love the way that she's being presented up until her season I feel like she uh, her character was much better reflected on Matt James' season of The Bachelor. You know, everyone thought that she was very relatable, very likable. And I think that her promos may be playing a little too much into that realm, and it's making it feel a little bit scripted. But for the most part, I am excited to see Katie. What about you, Zach? Yeah, you know, her promos have been a little cringy, to say the least. They have been a little bit wishy-washy as far as what we are going to expect to get from the season. However, once the first episode airs in about three weeks, we're getting closer every single week. I am more than you know happy to give her a clean slate from night one when we really get that two hour episode to see what kind of Katie we will be getting, whether it's the Katie from Matt James's season or it's the Katie we're getting in these awkward promos. Yeah, I mean, you guys are both so right. There's been so much conversation online about these promos. I feel like even the craziest Bachelor Nation fans among us, like I've never yeah. paid this much attention to promos with this little content, this little tease. Like we're not even getting any taste of the season, but <laughs> there's just something that's not working for people. So we're really, I think all in a way, just hoping for the best for Katie. A lot of us who are excited to see her just feel like these are not doing her justice or at least that's how I feel so anyways let's talk about the latest promo because honestly you guys I don't know that this is going to be the moment that changes anyone's minds to put it bluntly uh the bachelor nation instagram shared a cute little video and they wrote oh hey bachelor nation you ready uh let's dive into this first clip from the promo okay. <laughs> So here's the thing, you guys. We have seen these outfits, these moments before. We're not really seeing anything new here. This is a behind the scenes look at, you know, let's just say how much effort ABC put into making these promotional images. Mm -hmm. Some of the critiques online have been like, oh, it's just a white wall. Like they didn't give her the same treatment as other people. And clearly, I mean, you can tell this was a full blown production. Uh, bachelorette treatment, if you will. That doesn't necessarily mean, though, that it worked. I mean, do you guys feel like you needed a behind-the-scenes look at, went into the, at what went into the making of these <laughs> previous <laughs> promos that we've seen? Zachary, what are your thoughts here? I, I don't think we needed a behind-the-scenes. I think maybe they <laughs> wanted to show off the expensive camera so, they, so that we knew how legit it was. But I don't think we needed that. I honestly think it just made it a little bit more awkward and cringy. Once her trailer comes out with like a drama, I think we'll forget about the promo. But the fact that they keep emphasizing by giving us like these new 10 second promos, it's just, it's not helping. It's only hurting. Uh, Morgan, what were your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, what good does it do to show the camera that's filming the promo? We don't care to see that as fans. Like, okay, we know ABC that you're going to use a nice camera to film Katie's promos. <laughs> That's really not what the fans are complaining about. It's the lack of substance, really, in these promos. And I can't ever really remember a time where we've seen this much um, promotional advertising before the season starts. You know, normally we get like one or two, but I feel like every two or three days there's something else coming <laughs> up that's leading up to Katie's season. So it's just odd to me. Yeah, I am totally with you. It feels like, and again, I feel guilty like even saying this because obviously like the the woman we're looking at is Katie, who I do love. There's just something that I guess doesn't feel right about any of these clips and just showing us them 
from a different angle and the big old camera behind the scenes doesn't necessarily make those clips suddenly feel really authentic and totally right. Uh, but let's keep going. We've got, we've got more to unpack. Let's look at this next clip. So here's the thing, I don't know if you guys have been hearing in the background. I have now watched this more times uh, than I probably should have. You can hear this song yeah. they chose. It's very like, it reminds me of a montage of a pop star photo shoot in like an early 2000s movie. It's saying it's all about me. Again, I just, I don't know. There's something that feels outdated about it. I, what do you feel? <laughs> what do you <laughs> feel, Morgan? It feels very early 2000s. You're watching Disney Channel. I've seen that yeah. comparison yes. so many times online. But she, to me, right now feels like Lizzie McGuire. I feel like I'm watching the intro to Lizzie McGuire, you know, like when the balls fall from the ceiling and she's throwing them <laughs> at people. It just gives me that vibe. Vibe. The song is very strange too, and you'll hear it in a second. There's one really weird lyric. I want you guys to kind of pay attention and see if you hear what I heard, because to me, the messaging seems a little bit off. But what did you think, Zach? Yeah, I've definitely seen that meme going around the internet with Katie and like the whole Disney Channel thing. So I totally understand the Lizzie McGuire reference. Um, I don't really know if it's because Katie went home so early on Matt James's season that we just don't know enough about her. And maybe that's why they're kind of reaching for things with this promo. Um, but I want to hear what you were talking about, Morgan. So let's see this clip about this music thing. Hey, Bachelor Nation, I'm Katie, your new Bachelorette. So I, I still if I win it, if right? I lose. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say talking about like basically if she loses what the bachelorette she still wins even if she walks away single and then there's that moment where she says like hi I'm Katie. It, it yeah. just doesn't work and I feel like the lyrics were a super bizarre choice because you guys we've talked about this so many times. They are very intentional, right? I mean, they know that people are gonna pick apart every little thing that they've done. So either this was a very bizarre choice. Or again, it was intentional, in which case I don't even want to begin to unpack that. Like, what are we supposed to make of this? They're hinting at our very first glimpse of the season that she's going to be okay if it doesn't work out. I mean, Morgan, you noticed these lyrics. What do you make of it? Yeah, so you could really take it a couple of different ways. You know, in one sense, she did technically lose Matt James's season, and now she's the Bachelorette. Oh, okay. So they could be referring mm -hmm. to that. But they could also be referring to the fact that, you know, she's the bachelorette and she's winning, but maybe she loses in the sense that she doesn't actually end up with someone, end up engaged. Maybe she walks away single. I don't know if I'm maybe too much of a conspiracy theorist to really be like <laughs> nitpicking these lyrics. What do you think, Zach? Uh, I definitely are a conspiracy theorist. Um, but I do <laughs> think that this um, lyric, it, all, it also can kind of mean that even if she doesn't find love at the end of the season, she still will be okay and find love with herself. And I think that is women empowerment and that's independence. So I think that lyrics are very intentional and there could be many meanings to it, but I think we should try and be optimistic because you know mm -hmm. we are hoping that she does find love. This is The Bachelorette, it's a journey. So I am you know, rooting for Katie and rooting for the best. Okay, I love the way you guys interpreted that, honestly, because I went straight to panic mode, but I actually really <laughs> do think, Morgan, I, you may be a conspiracy theorist, but the idea that she lost on Matt James' season and now she's winning as The Bachelorette, I think that totally tracks. Also, of course, we love a self-love moment. If that's what they're going for subtly right now. So it is an interesting bit of music, all things considered, but I do feel like we should look at it glass half full, hope for the best. Uh, we have one last clip, I believe, from this little behind the scenes promo. So let's go ahead and check that out. So, okay, the Be A Katie shirt makes a quick appearance once again. I don't even know what I think about the Be A Katie thing, to be honest with you. I don't necessarily get what it means because I don't know that we know Katie well enough to know exactly what that means. Obviously, she was totally praised for her time on Matt's season for being really authentic, you know, saying it like it is, not taking any BS. 
which I absolutely love and think are wonderful qualities, you know, that everyone should strive to have. So that's kind of how I've been reading the Be A Katie shirt thing. Are you guys into it? Do you think it's a little bold? Uh, what are your thoughts on the shirt, Zach? You know, I'm wondering that if in two months time, we are all going to be wearing Be A Katie shirts and saying it <laughs> on the streets, like screaming it when we see our friends, Be A Katie. Like, I don't really get what it means right now either. I kind of think the same thing you do, Fiona. But I'm wor I'm wondering, like, if throughout the season, this is going to really become a thing and we're all just going to be saying, hey, Be A Katie today. <laughs> That's just kind of what I'm yeah. laughing about. Morgan, what, what are your thoughts? Yeah, so my initial reaction to this promo, first of all, I just don't like the Be A Katie shirt. It reminds me of the shirts that you get at Myrtle Beach when you walk into the beach store and it's like live, laugh, love, but Be A Katie. And I'm just not about that life. But seeing her in this plain white t-shirt and then seeing her in the Be A Katie shirt, did they Photoshop Be A Katie onto that t-shirt or is there really a Be A Katie t-shirt? Because I feel like to Photoshop it would be even worse because she's showing up in this white t-shirt not knowing that they're going to make this promo with a cringy B a Katie shirt on it. And now she's like, well, now everybody thinks that I just wanted to wear this shirt that says B a Katie. I don't know. To me, it still is just very early 2000s. Even that phrase, B a Katie, is really early mm -hmm. 2000s. And I feel, I feel for Katie, I feel like they're doing her dirty. <laughs> Hopefully her season turns out better than the promos. Yeah, I mean, yeah. okay, so this very last moment, we talked about this before we started filming, with these little pics at the end, are cute. Like, it feels, yeah. like, less staged and less, like, planned out in a way that just didn't feel like her. And granted, we have said this, we think we know Katie really, really well. Maybe this was the promo you know, video shoot of her absolute dreams, right? Maybe they sat down with her and said, what would be your ideal promo? And this was her vision. In which case, we just don't know her well enough yet. And I think if we start to watch her season and this really feels like Katie's vibe, it might be a little easier to look back on these promos and be like, oh yeah, they were cute, right? Because right now it just doesn't feel like her. And I think that's what a lot of people are kind of holding on to and clinging to. So it's going to be really, really interesting, you guys, as we inch closer and closer to her season. They also released another promo video to sort of help fans get to know Katie better. Um, and I think we're going to have some thoughts on this, too. So honestly, without further ado, let's just watch this next clip as well. Hi, I'm Katie, your new bachelorette. Here are three things you should know about me. I love my cat, Tommy. Whiskey is my go-to drink. I'm obsessed with sushi. Great, now I'm totally hungry. <laughs> Join me on my journey to find true love on the new season of The Bachelorette. So here's the thing. She just looked really nervous to me, honestly. Like, I think that that's the kind of thing where it reminds me of you're in like your first day of a new class and people are asking you to like come up with three facts about yourself and your whole like mind goes blank and you're just trying to like say things uh, and get it over with. That was kind of the vibe, but we did like, she does love her cat. The whiskey thing totally tracks. <laughs> like she did stay true to herself there. So I don't know. I feel like maybe this setting with like the huge cameras we just saw in that last clip was a little overwhelming, something she wasn't used to. Uh, what did you think of this one, Morgan? Yeah, so I think it's really easy for us to forget that Katie is just a girl you know she hasn't had this big of a stage probably ever in her life and I feel like we forget that you know what I mean if I was in Katie's shoes and I had this huge camera in my face and I knew I was about to be the bachelorette for all of America I would probably be terrified <laughs> so I, I try to give her some grace in that aspect um, she did post on her Instagram story after this came out that she already hates watching herself on, um, TV, like, or on Instagram or whatever. So maybe she did feel a little bit uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Um, also I saw something online, uh, where Katie responded to a comment, uh, from a bachelor Instagram page where it said something about this sounds really scripted. Um, Katie like quoted herself when she says, uh, Oh, now I'm totally hungry. 
and then put a dash and said, <laughs> said no one ever with some crying, laughing <laughs> emojis, kind of insinuating maybe that they did tell her to say that. Um, and I think that if mm -hmm. that's the case, you can tell you can see through that, because how many of us would say that? How many of us would say, I love sushi? Oh, now I'm totally hungry. Like you would say right. that, Zach. Maybe. I love really? sushi, so I would say that. And if someone brought up sushi, I'd be like, I'm hungry. You know, we love a self-deprecating queen. I love that Katie can laugh at herself. And I do think she has this personality that we're just not seeing in these overly produced, cringy promos. But I'm kind of a little bit upset about the three facts. I don't feel like I learned anything about her in these three facts, other than the fact that she has a cat named Tommy. I guess that's kind of like a little bit of an intimate thing because she loves her cat, but like, What's your favorite drink and what's your favorite food? Like, tell me what you're looking for in a man. This is a show about love. Like, we've seen this in the past in other promos. A lot of times the Bachelorettes will say what they're looking for and we'll see that in the promo, not what your favorite food is. Like, who cares? It's not like we're going to see her eating on the one-on-one -on -one dates anyway. Usually we all know that's just <laughs> fake food. Um, so I don't really feel like I learned that much about her in these three, you know, crazy facts. Yeah, it is interesting that like you would think maybe you would just combine your favorite food and favorite drink into one category yeah. and at least they could have given us one that was a little <laughs> more bachelorette related. Yeah, I definitely think that we've seen other bachelors, bachelorettes talk about like your relationship with producers and how in the beginning you just really don't know what you're doing and so you put a lot of trust in the people who are running the show and you know around you and perhaps someone off camera was like, why don't you make a joke? And that's sort of what Katie went for, right? I mean, there's also a chance that they did ask her to say like a bunch of mushy stuff about what she's looking for. And that didn't work. If you notice at the end, uh, the come with me on my journey to find love or whatever it was that she was saying was like voiceover, right? So maybe this was just a setting that was very intimidating, uh, a little out of her comfort zone. And I think honestly, if I was Katie, there's such a pressure, I think, going into her season that she's going to be so relatable uh, that so many of us are going to continue to like see ourselves in her or be inspired by her energy, her personality, her whole thing, that that might be very, very daunting. So again, I think that hopefully we're going to look back on these promos as we get an absolutely killer season and just sort of laugh it off because they're so irrelevant because we're getting such great TV. Um, but in the meantime, it definitely has been a little bit of a shock to the system. I think a lot of people <laughs> have just been a little confused. So you guys, on that note, we really want to know how you are feeling about this. First of all, I know so many of you guys are excited for Katie's season, but we want to know what your thoughts are on these promos specifically. Are you into them? Do you feel like they're not doing her justice? Let us know down in the comments. And of course, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell because we're going to keep you updated on all things Katie, all things Bachelor Nation. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring, joined by the wonderful Morgan Wright and Zachary Reality. If you want to come say hi, our social handles are on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll I'll see you next time. Bye.